And tonight we have obtained Jaramillo's interview with state police the day the crash happened. Action 7 News reporter John Carnelli is here with the key points to a long interview. Yes, Shalane Doug, it was pretty long. State police interviewed Jaramillo for nearly four and a half hours. And during the interview, Jaramillo appears to be distraught and police quickly figure out her story is not lining up. This is Janine Jaramillo being interviewed by state police the day she led Santa Fe police on a deadly wrong way chase on I-25. I'm freaking out, like, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Like my head, like it feels like I'm in a dream and I'm... I'm still in shock. Jaramillo is clearly frightened as she tells police what she says happened that morning. He said he was just going to kill me. He put the knife... And when he was hitting me and then he just put the knife to my neck over here. She tells police she stayed the night with her boyfriend in Santa Fe. The morning of the crash, she says she was threatened with a knife, assaulted, and had gasoline poured on her. That is when police get suspicious. You said that Mark put gasoline on you. Yes, he did. And I'm sitting next to the clothes that you were wearing when he did that. I don't smell any gasoline. Oh, oh, there's gasoline on the clothes. They then tell Jaramillo they spoke with her alleged boyfriend, Mark. So we talked to that Mark, and he's been at work all day with his wife and family after work. Police then ask Jaramillo about her well-being. Have you been taking your medication? Mm, not really too much with it, but once in a while the drinking has gone up, you know. Were you drinking? Anyway? Yeah. Did you, did you smoke meth today? No. They confront Jaramillo on the big question. Why was she driving the vehicle when she claimed she was kidnapped? I think, and this is just me, that you're the only person in the car when I wrecked you. And just be honest. Based on this dash cam video we obtained, you can see one person running out of the car. There's two police officers that saw the vehicle come to a stop. Not, it's been stopped and we showed up 10 minutes later, you came out, it came to a stop as they were there. Mm -hmm. They only saw you exit. There was nobody else that got out of the car. And Jaramillo was released from that initial interview you just saw. She was arrested days later and charged with two counts of first degree murder, among other charges. I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. Jaramillo's trial takes place in April.